Sim racing and in particular Sim racing esports is under a lot of pressure right now. Two big cheating scandals in less than a week must be a new all time low for our scene. But I'm not here to badmouth everything. That's Marvin's job. No, I'm here to give you some hope that things will change for the better. Because Kunos just made a big announcement that will surely stir up things for the better. And with that, welcome back to Overtake.gg, my name is Champion Joe and today we have to talk about the recent events in sim racing, what happened, why I think everything is looking so dim right now and why Kunos and other developers are giving me hope that everything will change for the better pretty soon. And if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any exciting news in the world of sim racing ever again. Ringing the bell also helps with that. But let's get going with the first chapter of 3, the cheating scandals. Cheating and esports have a lot of history. As soon as there's a competitive nature to a game, people will always look for ways to get ahead of the curve, even if that means bending or breaking the rules. And sim racing is no exception in that. So it happened that two big scandals were revealed just the other day, which have caused a lot of discussion within the scene. First, this clip emerged on Twitter, which again showed the Williams esports team cheating only weeks after what happened at the Daytona 24 in iRacing, where the pole lab was set off screen with the car dipping underneath the bank curves to gain an advantage. This time it's the F1 esports crew and Alvaro Caraton. We can see the guy streaming his session and unintentionally opening this folder that has the cheat engine and F1 motor bypass in it, next to some other stuff that hints at him cheating. Also just look at his reaction after he notices his mistake. This is the face of someone who just got caught doing something he's not supposed to. And I'm not here to throw any shade. Especially with what happens afterwards. He posted an official statement saying that this was done in order to find out how cheating in the game works and that he forwarded his findings to EA Codemasters for them to investigate. Also Jano Obmer confirmed that apparently being involved in that secret operation as well. The thing is, there was no official statement from Cody so far. Until then, at least a little bit of a bad taste remains. And the other scandal that happened the other day was connected to ACC. In this clip you can see the results of an investigation, showing a normal lab on Watkins Glen on the top and a cheated lab or proclaimed cheated lab on the bottom that apparently uses some kind of software to smoothen out the inputs and help steering of some sort. There is much more evidence to that from Williams Esports driver, again, Derry McCormack, who investigated Kirill Sedirov and I will link his findings in the video description if you want to dig deeper there. Also Niels Naujoks from BS Competition dug deeper as well into telemetry data and came to a yeah, relatively similar conclusion that something is indeed fishy here. His work is amazing in analyzing what's actually happening in this video. So that's in the description as well if you want to read in deeper. But those two examples are just the tip of the iceberg. We don't know what's actually happening within the competitive scene and who else is turning to illicit means. Fact is, there will always be cheating as long as it's possible. And sadly, sim racing does have a massive problem when it comes to its current online titles. Which brings us to part 2. Why are we in this situation in the first place? Why are we still here? Trust to suffer? <laughs> no, it's not that grim. Actually, there's a rational explanation why we are seeing so many scandals pop up left and right at the moment. It has to do with the games on the market, the pandemic and its consequences. The games we are currently playing in the sim racing esports scene are at least 5 years old. Assetto Corsa Competizione is the newest of them all, being released in 2018. And yes, I know, there is Rennsport that makes a good first impression, but the game is not out yet and we will talk about it briefly in the third part of this video. So back to ACC, 5 years old, the news of the bunch. Although all games that are currently used in esports racing are of course updated a lot and not really comparable to what they used to be, but still, old engines, old ways of thinking back then and games from a time where sim racing 
was even smaller. And cheating in sim racing is not an invention. It was always here. Now the difference is that the scene has grown so much over the last three years that we started noticing and calling out all the things that go wrong. The pandemic gave sim racing such an enormous boost that our game developers just didn't have the time to adjust to that yet. The development of AAA titles usually takes three to six years. So this massive change that happened over the span of a few months in this genre will only see an effect in the next three years when it comes to its games. And that's why it seems that everything is getting worse and worse. Because the old games, the old systems and the old game engines, they are just not up to the standard anymore that other bigger esports titles have already set and what we are demanding of our sport now as well. Which brings us to part 3 of this video. Why the future will be bright. Okay, the first argument of mine is already out of the box. New games are coming. There was a big bump in player numbers in 2020, which marks the starting point of development for many new sim racing titles that are just around the corner. The best example for that? Rennsport. The ESLR1 is looking promising, the competition is tight, the racing is fun and the overall show around the racing shows us a glimpse of how great esports racing can be. And the other silver lining I was mentioning in the beginning of the video, we finally heard some news from Kunos. And I think this big update that is heading our way will lead to massive changes in the competitive scene. Kunos just recently appointed Raggy as their new community manager and since then the flow of information to us players finally rekindled. Last week he opened up a Q&A session over at Reddit, where he, without going into detail, teased a lot of new stuff coming to ACC and Assetto Corsa 2, I will link that also in the video description. He confirmed new cars for ACC, that a roadmap of future updates is only pending permission and that the next update for ACC will be quite huge. Apparently this new version 1.9 will tackle the Mickey Mouse setups that are currently plaguing the game and will, within the same breath, fix the current unbalanced BOP a lot of players are unhappy with. And then there will be AC2 in the pipeline pretty soon. That might also change the online racing scene as we know it. So, as a final thought, yes, there's a lot going wrong in our scene at the moment. But looking just a few years into the future, things are bound to change. What is your opinion on that? Do you think games like Rennsport and Assetto Corsa 2 will bring the change we need? And do you think Kunos can fix some of the problems right now with their next update? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to know which game is actually booming right now, maybe check out this video from me explaining why this sim is growing like crazy. But that's it from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time around. Cheers.